guys, it's Julia, and I'm going to be showing you how to make six easy, healthy DIY frozen snacks for the summer. And if you guys want to make them, just keep watching. So the snack number one is the Froyo Bark, and what you need is some fruit, some nuts, and lots and lots of yogurt. I like this vanilla yogurt, it's really good. I get it from Trader Joe's, so I'm just going to spread the yogurt all over this little pan and then put a bunch of mixed fruit on top. Then I just sprinkled some nuts or roasted almonds because I really like roasted almonds. Like They are amazing. If you have never had them, you should definitely try them. And then I just sprinkled them on top and then put on more yogurt to kind of conceal it in the bark. And then I just sprinkled more nuts and almonds and ta-da! So then I put it in the freezer so it would freeze. And yeah, now on to number two, which is the Froyo dipped fruit. This one is definitely like the easiest, most simple one. All you need is some fruit and some yogurt and you're good to go. After I mixed up the yogurt, I just took this skewer and put on some fruit and just dipped it in and then put it on the tray. And I did the same thing for each piece. It's literally so easy. It takes like five minutes and then all you got to do is just put it in the freezer and there you go. You got some yummy dipped fruit. Now on to number three, which is the grape dippers, and this is my favorite. I can literally sit there eating these all day long. They're so good. So all you need is some almonds, a hammer, some toothpicks, some yogurt, some grapes, and that's about it, really. So you can take some nuts or almonds, whatever you want. I just took a handful of almonds, well, a couple handfuls, and put them in a bag and just hammered them down so they would be crushed. Then I poured them in a little cup so it would be easy to dip them in, and then I just put a grape on a toothpick, dipped it in the yogurt, dipped it in the almonds, and there you go, grape dippers. So I did that for each one, and I definitely like snuck some of them while I was doing it because they were so good and I couldn't resist not eating them. Oh my god, these are literally my favorite, they are so good. You guys will be addicted to them, I promise. I make them like all the time now. They're so good. Ah. So after I have them all in this little tray, I just put them in the freezer to freeze. Yeah. Now on to number four, which is the Froyo cupcakes, and these are so cute. So I just got some little cupcake holders, you know the plastic kind, but you could probably use whatever. Then I needed some strawberries, bananas, yogurt, and a thing to mix it. So then I just started by layering on the yogurt in the cupcakes. You want this layer to kind of fill up about half the cupcake holder so you can have room for the next layer, which is the strawberry and banana layer. So I just went ahead and mixed up the strawberries and bananas in my bullet, but you really want there to be more strawberry than banana because it's just like a little bit of banana. Then once it was all mixed up, I went ahead and just poured on that layer. Then after, this is kind of just for show, but I put like a drop of yogurt at the top so it would look kind of, I don't know, it would give it a better look. And then I also added chocolate chips, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to because it's not that healthy, but I mean, it's chocolate and it's amazing. So then I just put it in the freezer to freeze and now on to number five, which is the fruit popsicles. For this, you need fruit, some cups and popsicle sticks, and orange juice. So I started off by just putting the fruit in the cups and leaving little spaces in between so I could pour the orange juice in. Which I feel. So once the fruit was all the way filled up, I just went ahead and poured some orange juice in to fill all the holes in and air pockets and then stuck some popsicle sticks in. So, you know, it would be a popsicle, obviously. And then I just put in the freezer and waited about half a day to a day. I don't really know. You can check on it for how long you need to wait, but I just waited like a day for it to freeze. So once everything was perfectly frozen and ready to be eaten, I just took it all out and put it in these cute little picnic trays.
So for the fruit popsicles, to detach them from the cups, all you gotta do is get a cup of warm water and dip the popsicle in the cup and then it will loosen up the cup around it so you can take it out and it will be a perfect little popsicle. So here are the finished snacks. This is what it all looks like and I think it looks really cute and yummy and totally healthy. So you could definitely like have these with your friends at a picnic or a pool party or you can just have them while you're chilling in your house watching YouTube videos because you don't have to feel bad about them because they're not chips and whatever else or like legit ice cream. So it's guilt free. Yay! So that's all for the snacks. If you guys want to recreate them, make sure to send me a picture because I definitely want to see it. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up, a comment down below, and subscribe because I put out new videos twice a week on Mondays and Saturdays, so make sure you check back in then. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Tumblr for all my updates. And if you want to see my previous video, just click on the picture and also the link in the description. And I will see you all in my next video, and I will talk to you guys later. Heart! Bye!